Busy parents, listen up. Celebrity chef Devin Alexander is here in live person. Devin is best known as the chef on NBC's The Biggest Loser. She joins us now in the family kitchen to help get more healthy food into your kids' bellies. And that is something that is um, an amazing accomplishment. Welcome, Chef Devin. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. I'm so thrilled to have you here because you have such a great story to tell. You've got a unique approach to healthy cooking, healthy eating, and it's actually led you to a 70 pound weight loss. So tell us more about that. How did you get there? Well, I thought I didn't like vegetables as a kid and I had two Italian grandmothers who taught me how to cook and get fat, <laughs> as I like to say. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I had such amazing memories with my grandmothers cooking amazing food and I didn't like vegetables, which is messaged by a lot of parents. Like you don't eat vegetables at one point and then it's like, oh, you don't like vegetables. You didn't eat vegetables. True. So, and then even, you know, having a child myself, I've noticed people like I had her teething on broccolini and carrots and things and people are like, is that? That real? That's so smart. I realized that when I tell my daughter why she wants to eat something, like spinach makes you strong and avocados give you a lot of energy, she's a lot more excited to do it. And then we, everybody saw this working so much on her and a lot of my clients. I wrote this book, The Land of Secret Superpowers Vegetables, to teach kids that they can be empowered if they choose to eat vegetables and then they choose to eat them. I love that. I love that. I love that. So you brought some great food and let's shift to the food. It seems counterintuitive, but you encourage the notion of actually playing with your food. I do. Tell us playing what. games. So, for instance, you know, so many times we stock our kids' play kitchens with the ice cream and the pizza and all the foods that we don't necessarily want them eating all the time. And then we sit them at the table after no fun has been around broccoli and it's like, here, eat broccoli. So <laughs> I say stock your kids' play kitchen with lots of all the produce you want them to learn about and then some of the other right. stuff, a little bit, you know. But so it's all fun. And then play games with them so there's no stress in your kitchen. So so, for instance, you get to knock this butternut squash over with a beanbag. I hate. All right. Do I pretend it's somebody that I don't like or something um, right now? You don't have and to am do I going to be able to? Okay. This is going to be embarrassing if I miss. You oh, oh, my gosh. I you have no hair. All right. Oh, oh, but I didn't, okay. I didn't knock it over. But right. you had well, fun. Look, you yeah. had smiles. And now I need to have more vegetables so I can and get the superpowers. Now, now you might yeah. want to eat yeah. the squash. Uh, <laughs> and then, so I encourage people, like I have these beads that are avocados and strawberries and carrots. And so make little bracelets and make that a fun thing instead of other, I mean, beads are great, yeah. but getting vegetables in their life in a fun way is it. another thing. This is actually a miniature golf game that I encourage with really young kids that encourages kids to eat celery. You brussel into the mini golf hole nice. with a celery stalk. And literally my two-year-old neighbor started eating celery for the first time when we played this for 10 minutes with a two, four, five, and six-year-old. Oh my gosh. I love it. So this works for kids. Do you think it works with adults too? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, obviously those kind of things, but I do have some tips for adults too. <laughs> awesome. So he wrote this great book that's great for adults to read to kids. So you're motivating kids, you're getting the adults and the parents involved with this. And from there, even the adults and parents can probably start to live healthier lives as well. And I know you do a lot of weight loss coaching, but you don't call it weight loss coaching. You call it something else. Boss body coaching. <laughs> right. Which I love because we're too boss girls right here, exactly. right? So. Well, and it's the bosses who actually, you know, let themselves go a lot yes. because they're so busy doing so much. And the truth is like, we know a lot of our presidents have worked out and a lot of people have worked out. So it's finding those ways. And a lot of it is like what you carry on the road, which, so I have some snacks here, like carry little containers of tomatoes because they don't, uh, you know, in the clamshell because they don't, need to be refrigerated. And honestly, I sometimes take a little container of salt with it or one of those salt packets yeah, yeah, where yeah. they often have the salt packets on plans. Yeah. And then things like nuts in these pre-packaged containers is the key. Because again, if it's a whole thing of nuts, I admit it, I'll eat the whole thing of nuts. And then I love these olives. It's only 60 calories a pack. If you're craving the salty, yep. it's, you know, 60 calories and good brain health helps you. It's not going to keep you up at night like right. carbs will. And then dried fruit. Although with the dried fruit, like watch that because you don't want to eat too much. Right. 
So that was so amazing. We covered everything from your new book. What's the title again? The Land of Secret Superpowers Vegetables. I love it. <laughs> to games that we can play with our kids, to tips for traveling boss bodies, to just things we can do as adults. So thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. All right. After the break, you need to stay tuned because we are going to give crying babies and especially their caregivers something to smile about. If you want to find out more about what I'm talking about, stick around. 